Okay, so this is gonna be a series about when components were introduced into a game and how they hold up to today. Well, this video is gonna be about Gold Rush, the first Gold Rush update. If you can't read the title in the in up there in the video for some explicable reason, uh, have a stamp. There you go. Okay, so first we're gonna be talking about the weapons, specifically the ones that Gold Rush brought in, which is the Blute Soldier, the Kritzkrieg, and the Uber Saw on April 29th of 2008. Jesus Christ, that's a long time. Right off the bat, any experienced medic player knows how essential these three items are to your arsenal. And if you don't know, you gon' learn. Marketed as a strong alternative, the Blute Soldier has gone through little change. Originally, it only suffered from not being able to do critical hits with no health regen penalty. But this was modified on September 15th, 2009 patch. The Crits Creek had the most changes of the three, with, well, actually only three buffs. It was never nerfed. On release, it had a meager 10% increased ubercharge speed, but on August 19th of the same year of its release, that was boosted from 10% to 25%. Nine months later, basically it had a baby update, it was given the Crits Creek Ton which restores health and projectiles reflected while under a crits with the pyro would be critical. And last but not least, the movement speed update nearly eight years later for all Mediguns. And finally, the Uber Saw. It was released with the same stats that it has today, minus the Spinal Tap taunt that was added in January of 2010, almost two years later. But it wouldn't be until April of 2011 that it gave the 100% Uber on taunt kill that we expect today. That's... That's actually it. Uber Saw is like that baby that was born perfect, was always perfect, and then it breezed its way through life and it spawned two miserable children we'll call Sawyer and Peter Tatum. You just couldn't keep it in, could you? Based on how little these weapons have changed and how consistently they are used in today's gameplay is truly a sentiment to how strong they are. But that was the then. How do these weapons affect gameplay now? Well, two out of these three weapons remain in current competitive settings and in most pub play. They are not only strong alternative choices, but they are often necessary ones. The only reason Blue Soldier is not chosen more often is due to the giant shadow that's over looming it. I should just say looming over it, but we'll talk about that weapon later, okay? Gold Rush is also the update that began the infamous achievement unlock system for weapons. And as for how this system holds up today, I have my grievances. So, serious talk time kids, grab a chair. No yelling about turning knives into babies or anything like that. In today's world, even free to play should have access in some shape or another to all weapons. Inventory was not an issue back in the Gold Rush update because you unlocked it and then you had it. Cool, that's it. There was no competition for it. You just got it at your own pace. But today, where there are over 50 inventory slots that can't hold the 100 plus weapons, that's not good. While I do think that the achievement system can be used in tandem with unlocking weapons and give new players directive, I don't think it should be the solution. I've talked about giving players an in-game arsenal in the past, but to reiterate here, I believe that once you have owned a weapon once, you should own a stock version of that weapon so you never have to worry about, you know, just having a copy of it. You will always have a copy of that weapon. It wouldn't affect inventory space or anything like that. I don't think it'd affect anything in the game. It'd just make it better for players, and th there you go. You can still craft stuff by getting unique item drops. It changes nothing. But, uh, yeah. Last but not least, of course, this update was called the Gold Rush update, right? Well, Gold Rush is the first payload map that was introduced in Team Fortress 2. Prior to the game's initial release of the six maps of Two Fort, Granary, Control Point, Well, Dust Bowl, Gravel Pit, and Hydro, it was hard to believe that Shopping Cart Simulator didn't exist before then. But, again, how does it hold up today? Well, Gold Rush in itself is still fine. But I think the most notable hold areas of the map are always the beginning and end of every stage. And maybe that's good map design. I don't know. I'm not a crash. Just saying that's weird to me. The tunnel-like mechanics of Gold Rush today do not translate well with the villainous amount of weapons available to get around these features, especially in the last section. While anecdotal, I've only had a few experiences where the enemy team is able to properly hold in the mid area, and I feel as though if Gold Rush were to be updated with today's standards, there'd be a larger mid area introduced to let ha to let Red have a stronger fighting chance, at least in the mid section. 
Of course, unless there's a flog and a medic combo, and then Jesus, those tunnels might as well be like point gravy to a delicious blue mashed potato. Oh, oh mama. So yeah, Gold Rush, anyway, uh, all in all, I'm glad they focused on the medic first to give him some variety and encourage team play for classes. I imagine that for a long time, there was a lot of medics running around. A golden time where players wanted to play medic all the time. What a world that must have been. But yeah, Gold Rush, that's the then and the now, cool. Uh, if you like what I did with this video and you want to come hang out, well, you can, you can come hang out with me in my Discord. Uh, I assume you're not an idiot and you know how to use YouTube by this point, so if you want to subscribe for the rest of the series and stuff that I'm going to do on this channel, you should do that, but I'm not going to badger you about it, because again, you're a smart fellow. You know what's up. You know how to use buttons, right? You probably learned that in the first grade. Look at you go. Sorry, that sounded more condescending than I meant to. I'm actually just really terrible at videos, or rather, at the ending videos, and at terrible at videos. So I'm gonna go get some Wendy's now. Okay, goodbye.